Okay, so my studio, this has taken a lot longer to get finished than I would have liked, but in between a very, very tight budget, us getting ill at possibly the worst time, this took a very long time to do and things aren't really entirely finished. The floor is still just the basic boards which were underneath the carpet in this house, but I don't need anything like a laminate on top of it to function. This studio now does everything that I need to. It has the zones that I want, and today I wanted to share all the different things I've done just to make a really small space as efficient as possible. When I was planning this out, I knew that I needed four different zones, an art area, a music area, a filming area, and then technically an editing area, but the editing area wasn't as essential as the other three. Now this was the basic structure that we had before anything was painted, and this was the rough idea that I had. I was going to have an art section over here, the editing section would be over to the right, then I was going to have a filming section, and that would be twin slot brackets up on the wall, and I'd have the filming area behind me, and then this would be the music area. In the end, a few things got tweaked. First thing I did is I painted the studios my favorite color, white, green, and black. And then I got rid of the idea of having the drawers in the middle because it just made it a pain in the neck to move from one zone to the other. So instead it went onto the side. Now this is not organized. I'm still trying to finish a few things and get all the drawers organized, but it's not the priority right now. So I will get to that, but it's just not done. This was going to be my music area. It's held up by two little brackets. It's got some rubber bands at the end just to stop it from falling off. And then I have a stand and my music book over there. If I want to plug it in, I just take the cable underneath, plug it into my laptop, and then above it, I have the filming area. Now this had to get attached just with cable ties. I didn't want to screw it into the wall. The brackets were already there, it seems silly. The ring light I was very, very proud of because I just got one of those mirrors from Ikea that you just find in the bathroom section. And then I took apart the ring light that I had for a very old lighting system I had and attached that again with cable ties. But this is the thing that I'm most proud of. I figured out that I could use the hot shoe attachment for the camera, put it through the bracket, meant that the camera didn't have to be on a tripod on the desk taking up space I could move it up and down the bracket if I wanted it completely out of the reach of my children I could move it way above where they could reach if I wanted it lower down to film I could do that and it just made so much more space in this area right above it I do have some shelving again this is not organized eventually I want to sort it out so I have finished paintings in one side and all the paper that I want to use on the other but over my art area I've just got one of those little gooseneck lights now I really like this one because I can move it up and down and I can also change the settings I can make it lighter brighter I can change the tone to either more yellow more neutral or more blue undertone so I can just tweak it depending on what I want to do and this was something I'd want to to do for ages is just to have little pins with all my gouache out on the wall, kind of like a decorative feature, but also useful. And then right above it, I wanted to have a clipboard with anything that I had just finished. Now, normally my little camera that attaches above my art desk is pinned here, but I'm currently filming with it. So that obviously isn't pinned into that area, but it's just made everything so much easier to film. I'm still trying to get the lighting right. This was filmed in the old area and obviously you can see it's quite a bit more yellow, but I'm still trying to figure out the lighting, but it's already so much better. One of the things that was driving me nuts because I'd managed to get all the other cables up and out of the way was my laptop cable. It just got in the way so much and it kept falling off my desk and I kept stepping on it. So to stop that, I taped it up underneath the desk, put a little rubber band around the bottom once I'd pulled it through one of those paper clips, and then that way I could plug it into my laptop, let it go, and it wasn't gonna fall back on the floor. It's just ready for me to use right away. The last thing I did in the studio was sort out the mic. I originally had one of those big bulky microphone holders which just sat on the desk. Instead I got this, and what I like is that it has this little middle attachment and I can move it up and down if I want it completely out of the way. And I have attached it with duct tape because I didn't have the right attachment. But it's such a huge improvement. I have the whole desk space now, either to have my workout, to be editing, or to be drawing. There's nothing big and bulky cluttering up the space. I still need to figure out the lighting, but already it's such a huge improvement. And while it might be a small space, it's efficient and it's mine. 